That was. <laughs> The worst whiskeys that we can remember. Yeah, I mean, and there's plenty. But just a few caveats. Yeah. We've had, you know, at least a couple thousand whiskeys at this point. There have been a lot of amazing ones, and there's been some that are absolutely horrible. And at the same time, the number one rule in the community is what? The best whiskey that you like to drink is the way that you like to yeah. drink. I was gonna let you give it a shot there. It's the whiskey you like, the way you like to drink. That's what or I that. said. So I have the caveat for the category here. Yeah. Some I think are just like, why did you release that? That's not good. Yeah. That was lazy. Yeah, yeah. Some are like, that's just badly made. Yeah. And some are just, I know people who love it. Yes. And we are not on that list. Right. Hey, is that a bowling pin? Hey, that's a bowling pin. <laughs> yeah. Not even sure what this is. And the guy who donated it yeah. wrote this on the side of the bottle. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> he wrote, I'm so sorry. At least, oh. at least he knew what he was doing. Yeah. This is very chemically and very artificial sweetness. Yeah. yeah. But it's the kind of candy that would be an old timey candy shop. Dude, I was gonna say. With two P's and yeah. an E. You know what, it's mm. it's some type of, but you know the sucker that has like the little loop? The loop yeah. 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 And they're not Doctor's that good. office. And it would yeah. only be in a candy shop that's at like a tourist town. Yeah, like it, it smells sticky. Like. <laughs> it does, like, like a bowling alley <laughs> like floor. A, yeah. In the back of a minivan. Yeah. That still has car seats. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Tangy. It's yeah. also like super just, it just turns into water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, if you poured me that blind, I wouldn't have guessed whiskey. It tastes like a flavored vodka of some sort. Yes. Very, yeah. Very yeah. ethanol. Not even a good vodka. So that's bad mm. because not only is it boring. Oh, it sticks with you. Yeah, that finish is terrible. But it's sticky and lingering. Yeah. Very bad. And the yeah. taste is like is like blood or like copper. You poured me quite the a bit. Though, I know. I didn't mean to. I got a little sloppy. He hates you. You're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> here, here we go. You should get the one that you wanted to bring okay. to the table. This. Brianna has had this. Okay. That's Shibui. Uh, so it's there's another Shibui. one called Shinobu. It's Shibui. Yeah. Skinny there, penis. There was one of the songs that brought this, and then I made them take it home. It's Shibui. But it's been a while, and wow, it's very generous. <laughs> Forget about this thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's farts. No, it's, no pee. It's, it's horse pee in a it's farm. It's dried it. up urine. It's like if you went into a barn and a horse wow, pee in a barn. Right, it is urine. Yeah. Yes, it's so bad. <laughs> it's a horse pee this in is a, so bad. This is a bathroom and a six street bar. Oh, yes. like a public park restroom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got the urinal the, cakes in there. Yeah. The, the crusty piss on <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good <laughs> lord. Uh, I looked into this distillery and apparently they're winning tons of awards. No. Wait, for yeah. real? Yeah, 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 no. Yeah. They're getting, like for their single grain, which is not this, they're earning um, 95 points from the 2021 International Wine and Spirit Competition, 95 okay. points from the Ultimate Spirit Challenge, the most awarded Japanese whiskey to launch in the US. I don't think it was this one. So like, there's no chance it was that. Yeah, this, no, no, it can't be that one. This was from our, our newest bartender in the tasting yeah. room, Liam. He brought that and he was like, it's the worst thing I've ever had in my entire life. And so we were like, okay, Look, that's fair after the try. smell of it. Just, but he has the five-year-old something from there. Yeah. And he said, it's amazing. Oh, uh, why would they release something like this? It's like if a tree nymph farted in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I keep waiting for it to subside and it's not subsiding. <laughs> Does it a smell? A tree nymph farted in your face. <laughs> it's a heck of a taste. Do we have to, yeah. Do we have to drink this? Yes. Yes, okay. this is the point. You have to go first. Mouth it. I'm gonna sip it. No, he eats mouth. Mouth. It went his mouth, Dang so he's mouth it. Yeah. Oh. It's like 80% as bad as the nose. Yeah. There's a fuel character to them. Yeah. Like exhaust. Mm -hmm. Lawn, <clears throat> lawnmower exhaust. And it's burning going down. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. At least it has flavor, at least it has notes. My big problem with It's Your Boy. Skinny pain. Is that. That makes me sad. There's gonna be ones that make you sadder than that. The next one is from <laughs> Texas, and it's called Fitch's Goat. 100% corn whiskey. Slightly cloudy. 
Do you guys know the joke about the goat? Oh, is this the road builder and the yes! land builder? Yes, wait, can you tell what's it? The, because that's what word? I feel like this Yeah, the shortest version possible. Are you ready? <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, there's a guy in Scotland and uh, there's an American going to like study his roots and learn where he's from. Yeah. And he goes to this little town that evidently his people are from and he got to a pub and he's like, so I'm looking up my people and I wonder if he'd point me in the right direction. He's like, well, I don't know, but you, that guy over there, he's been here forever. Mm -hmm. If there's anybody who would know, it's him. Right. And he goes over and he brings him a drink. He says, so what's your name? He's like, ah, oh, I'm Smith. Uh. He's like, well, what, what do you know? He's like, well, I know a lot about this town. As a matter of fact, you see all those bricks out there on the, on the road that like connect all the, the buildings between here, those old flagstones? I laid all those bricks with my own hands. They call me uh, O'Reilly the road builder. Mm -hmm. Nah, they don't. I see all the barns dotting the farm sides. I built all those barns for everyone here. They call me O'Reilly the barn builder. Nah, they don't. But you f one goat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And so this is the There's goat. a Scottish and an Irish version, and I always remember the O'Reilly. Uh, clammy feet. So, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, dirty it's socks. There. It's getting there. Yeah. Dirty socks and goat feet pellets. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Are we drinking now? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it's hot. deep, deep. That is barn. Yeah. Oh. Just right flat on. out yeah. barnyard. That's cool. Oh. It's not quite as much urine as the Japanese whiskey. No. no, but it is very barnyardy. Yeah. It's distilled to surprise even the most sophisticated palate. Mm. Surprise! I do feel surprised. <laughs> yes. In my mouth. Yes. And disappointed. Well, I, I gotta respect though how they called the shot. They know that this is very goaty. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> they put it on the label. Well, it's very almost psychosomatic Pretty at this point. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on. It makes you want to be a goat. Well, that does not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, O'Reilly, <laughs> get in here. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this episode. Now, over 7 million men have trusted their balls to Manscaped. Now it's time to trust them with your ultimate moneymaker, your face. And Manscaped wants to help you tame that beardy mane with their new Beard Pro Kit. Now I've had a beard for a while. At this point I've gone through a small pile of products and devices, but here's what I really dig about Manscaped Steel. The hero in their Beard Pro kit, it's the Beard Hedge Trimmer. First off, it's a cordless trimmer, of course, but it has 20 trimming links in one trim guard, so you don't have a giant pile like a rat's nest of all of these little attachments that you have to keep up with, and whenever you're looking for a specific one, of course it's disappeared somewhere. For a few weeks, I've been using it to clean up like the cheekbones, the neck beard, and then higher on the sides before we get down to the longer beard length. And I love that this is waterproof because if there is one thing that I really miss about not having a beard is that I was always shaving in the shower in the morning. I'm in the water, it's fast, it's easy, I do the thing, there's no cleanup, beautiful. There's a nice beard shampoo, conditioner, beard oil to keep your situation nice and supple, and a beard balm to help you shape and style. The Beard Pro Kit also comes with three free gifts. So you, right now, when you go to manscaped.com and use code WhiskeyTribe, you're gonna get 20% off and free shipping. 20% off, free shipping. Cheers, guys. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> this next one is a, quote, whiskey. Technically, it's considered a spirit whiskey Ooh. with natural flavors. Okay. What's that say? Glyph this is Glyph. Glyph? This is a company trying to recreate whiskey mm -hmm. with chemicals, starting with a relatively neutral spirit. So it's not a fake whiskey with no alcohol. There's actually... It's alcoholic. Okay, but they're adding in But they're trying flavoring. to skip the aging process mm. and make it chemically. That's yeah. a fancy looking label. <laughs> it weirdly is both metallic, bitter, and Kool-Aid. Oh, interesting. If you melted farmer's market homemade candy yeah. into alcohol. Yeah, and maybe a little candle in there. Yeah. Yeah, so have you ever been in a flavor house? 
where they manufacture scents it's for things. No. Oh, I was about to say, it's called a restaurant. No. <laughs> Welcome to the flavor I house. I to call them. <laughs> yes. It's, it's like walking by bath and body works. Right. Yeah. You're just assaulted by hundreds of very narrow, specific flavors. Mm -hmm. Piled on top of each other. Piled on top of each other. Yeah. An overpowering hand soap at like some boutique. Mm. Oh. I think they did melt candy in there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. But, oh. oh, it's soap. How'd it get soapy? Yeah. It's... I don't know, ma'am. I just know that is one of the soapy. It's very soapy. Yeah, I hate it. Really quick, saponification. It's basically a soapy note that you often get in the whiskey process. If a distiller mm -hmm. crash proofs the whiskey, and they dump in too much water too quickly to get it down to a lower proof, it can often create a soapy note. So that's kind of the, the experience, the flavor that we're getting. Yeah, but it's strong. Mm -hmm. It's not subtle at all. Ugh. So this is from a distillery in California. Mother. Mm. Ah, it's so unopened it's full, that it's steel. Sure I got there. Mm. I don't know if I can get that open. It's <laughs> raining in here. There we yeah. go. This Actually, is. Actually, I don't remember this one. A hops flavor. Okay, now whiskey. this is something that hops. you would choose. Yeah. Daniel hates hops. Hate, hate them. Do you like hoppy beer? Um. Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm, I'm the same way. Like I don't Wait. detest it, like Daniel. But in a whiskey, it's never worked for me. <laughs> so here's what I find Whoa. with hoppy flavored things is it brings out all of the acidity of the hops and none of the fruitiness of the hops. Yeah, it's not its not the floral hoppiness. Mm -mm. This is wild! <laughs> right? Real quick though, because some people love the hops. Mm -hmm. One thing I do want to acknowledge is, obviously taste is subjective, we already said that, but also some of the things that we have had that we detest it often comes from this process of experimentation. Yeah. Which we really appreciate. We, we love that people do that. Right. So the fact that they're coloring outside the lines, great. But due to the nature of experimentation and exploration. Can't all be good. You can't all have hits. Oh, yeah, this right? is California. Isn't that cool? It's a cool label. That is cool. Look at that. Where are you going what? with it? It was no. too big. You couldn't handle the girth of it. Yeah, mm. no one could. Oh, Riley. <laughs> You're right, you can handle it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mouth it. Down. Are we mouthing it? I'm gonna drink it. Oh, God. What is going on in there? This is what I imagine an incense stick would taste like. Oh, yeah. my God. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I hate it, though. It's Whoa. like. It's really weird. It, it went so extreme that you're like, maybe. What? <laughs> That's the kind of extreme experience that our peppermint will distill experiment was. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. lemon pledge. There's lemon pledge in this. Yeah. I mean, it'll take your head off, but at the same time, you're like, well. <laughs> you all right? Going back in a second time, mm -hmm. it does get worse. That's this, why I didn't. This is the kind of spirit that I think you could turn into a really interesting cocktail. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. drop it into a beer to give you a little extra hop edge. Now, I'm. I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You. Huh. If Eyes are getting water. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> it's intense. It's almost like a pickle at the end of that. I can see that. A little <laughs> brininess. It's so hoppy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, pickle juice. You ready? So this is <sighs> McLaughlin Distillery in Pennsylvania, <laughs> and this is called Devil's Juice. So before we put our nose in it. Hell of a color on that. Yeah. Now, where did the color come from? Yeah, Daniel? and the guts from the charred oak. Right. <laughs> what are you it smells nice. Oh, shut your, come on. <laughs> it's a campfire. It's a campfire. It's literally a campfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a campfire. You're standing over Just, a campfire. Yeah. The campfire. This is the smell that lingers on you for days after a campfire. Yeah, you get it in your clothes. And, yeah, and your yeah. hair. Oh, man! Okay. It's so bitter! Yeah. It's like licking on those logs after you cooled the campfire down. Oh! <laughs> there is a... There's a gross finish in that. Oh, God! Public restroom in a park that hasn't been cleaned in months. Yeah. Oh, it's so rubbery! I it's very urinal, it's, much ur know it's that. urinal cakey. Yeah. Oh, and it's still lingering. The aftertaste is yeah. still lingering. Mm. You chew in the sawdust and yeah. then you walked into a urinal cake piss crusted floor yeah. public restroom. So the first, still there. initially, I was like, oh, mm, 
<laughs> it, it tastes like campfire. Yeah. And then immediately it goes south. Oh, oh, and then you go back on the nose and that restroom smell yeah, is stronger. It's right there. It's, a, it's, it's right, right there. It's front and center. It's, uh, yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's really, really bad. We, we've had whiskeys that have been in a barrel a bit too long. Yeah. This is miles beyond an overly woody. Yeah, this is not something you could achieve by just letting it sit in a barrel. I suspect, I don't know, but I suspect they added a bunch of wood chips no, in there. No, that's what it was. It's on toasted mm. hickory wood chips. Wood, yeah. Did you jump wood chips in there? Probably. That is getting so much worse. We'll get rid of that taste in your mouth pretty quickly here. You have to do the cough. It's... <laughs> <laughs> that was so much! <laughs> the things that amuse oh, oh God. are a mystery to me. It wasn't even like, like <laughs> this was dissipated like, splash. Was it was that? like one glob right to my face. <laughs> it was O'Reilly. We just finished up another dry week in our quarterly challenge with the Magnificent Bastards in the Whiskey Tribe. If you opted in to this optional challenge, then those Whiskey Challengers can add their name to the uh, list that's linked down in the description below. Cheers, guys. Actually, can you bring the telephone oh. <coughs> one up again? Oh, no, right. Take the devil's head and get a... Goat. <laughs>